One of the most prominent leaders on the world stage, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, is stepping down. It is clear that this can now only be described as a terrorist attack. I can tell you one thing right now, our gun laws will change. From 11.59 p.m. tonight, we will close our border to any non-residents and citizens attempting to travel here. I am not the first woman to multitask. I'm not the first woman to work and have a baby. And in the face of politics, the New Zealand and Australia relationship is being tested. We've always made decisions that we believe to be in the best interests of New Zealand yep. at the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, question number five, Nicola Willis. This is about being on the right side of history. Do you want to be a leader that you look back in time and say that you were on the wrong side of the argument when the world was crying out for a solution? Well, joining us now is a great friend of the show and yeah. former Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand, Winston Peters. Winston, always good to see you. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Now, was this something that was kind of brewing? We knew that Jacinda had a bit of a break over summer and was uh, contemplating her future. Yeah. Did this come as a surprise to you? I think it's an enormous surprise to the New Zealand people and also to the international audience, so to speak, but not to uh, a number of us because it was, I think, very predictable. Uh, the second phase of her prime ministership post-2020 has not been good and uh, the polls are tracking rather lousily and everything was a problem. So not a surprise, but I think to the ordinary citizen on the street, yes. Do you think, um, Winston and Kia ora, uh, by the way, do you think um, that, that perhaps she's gone before she was beaten? Well, you put it in a way that, uh, you know, it was certainly a version. It is very likely the case. Some people do, like the previous, a previous prime minister did a calculation, 60-40, that he couldn't win, so he just walked. And so uh, mm. there'll be a lot of statements made now in the passion of this moment. But the question is whether or not it's a fact. Okay. Her official reason is that she didn't feel like she had enough in the tank, Winston. What is it like in politics? I mean, is that a fair assessment? Well, now, this is astonishing because that's what John, the, the excuse John Key used. And she could be right in that sense, but I kind of think that the reserves in the tank are also related to the level of confidence going forward as to the outcome of the 2023 election, which looks pretty bleak for Labor at this point in time. You know, you and I have spoken over the years, um, and, and we always appreciate you coming on, your perspective. Um, but, uh, Mr Peters, it's now your time <laughs> to make a comeback. <laughs> You're not well, this is not about out. me. This is not yes, about you. It's, <laughs> it's, it's politics. About a it's always about the politician. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's why we're different, I've got to tell you. That's why I'm pleased to be on the show. We're both different. It's not about me. The reality is it's about uh, how people are perceived. And in the first, you know, hours and days of, from the Prime Minister stepping down, you'll have all these statements being made. But in the coolness and fortitude of, of, of quietitude of time, people will come to a different view. And let's see if it's fair or not. All right, and, and you'll be coming back, though, yeah? Well, you know something? My country needs me. Oh, oh yes! There it is! <laughs> you heard it first. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you. You are, not a, running. you are not boring. Um, and you've been, um, you know, obviously, uh, devoting yourself to New Zealand for a long time. Mm. Look forward to seeing you back front and centre. Winston Peters, thank you. <laughs> hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? Always happens.